Uh oh. I don't like this disclaimer. I don't like this disclaimer. Disclaimer. People will get really mad at you for showing this video. But it's really good. Fuck it, we've all. <laughs> you Fuck it, let's go. <laughs> all right, here we go, guys. How to be a millionaire on a low salary. Why would, why, why, how could people possibly get mad at this? How could they be mad? Don't you want to know how to be a millionaire on a low salary? How could this possibly make people angry? You won't become rich until you understand this. These True. marbles represent all Yeah, the marbles, you need to know them. How many of these people do you think earned an average of $100,000 a year during their careers? Well, according to a national study of millionaires by Ramsey Solutions, just 31%. What's even more shocking is that in the same study, it was revealed that 79% of millionaires didn't receive any inheritance at all from their parents or other family All right, members. so how's so those a trick? What is it that us secret millionaires know that most people don't? It's going to be like... Four important questions. It's going to be... It's going to be like... It's going to be like, are you spending too much money, like more than you make? You're not saving, you're not investing. That's what it's going to be. If you answer yes to these questions, you're on the right path to becoming a millionaire, even on a low salary. Let me explain. Dude, this old guy is hip. He knows how to make a YouTube video. So, when it comes to your finances, there Did are catch two attention? levers that you have control over. Your income and your expenses. This looks yep. pretty simple, right? Mm -hmm. Well, the facts say the opposite. As more than that thing better make a nice sound. Over when you use... Oh. still living paycheck to paycheck as their expenses are just too high it doesn't really matter if you're on a high or low salary you just need to be able to work these levers correctly in order to create positive cash flow let's play a little game do you think an 18 year old that has a positive cash flow of 250 dollars per month will retire a millionaire yes he'll actually be worth around 1.1 million dollars how about a 20 dang with a positive cash flow of 500 dollars a month yep they would be worth even more at a whopping 1.3 million dollars shoot okay, here's the last one a 50 year old with a positive cash flow of three thousand dollars per month actually no they'd get very close but they'll only make it to about nine hundred and fifty thousand dollars this shows why it's so important to start thinking about this stuff while you're young these calculations were based on three different factors one their positive cash flow is saved every month two they get an average yearly return of 7%. 7%? Now, you won't get this from a savings account, but it is the average return of the S&P 500. We'll get into that later. And three, they retire at 65 years old. So what is the best lever to focus on to create positive cash flow? Well, let's first talk about your expenses. I know it's not sexy, but if you start using one of those- That sounds sexy. Apps, you'll probably be shocked at how many tiny payments are going out of your account each. Oh yeah, man. Fucking everything. Like, every time you go to Starbucks, $5. Just, you bought an iced tea, $3. Just down, 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 man. Each month. Just think about all those subscriptions you don't even use. I need to do that. I need to actually go through my prescri uh, prescriptions. My subscriptions and find out what I don't need anymore. What don't I need? I probably could stop paying for masterclass, actually. You want me to do that? I'm going to save some money. I'm going to do that later. Those alone may add up to over $30 a month. I'm not saying to... Only 30? <laughs> Bro. Counts all the stuff you actually use. Just the things you don't really care gotcha about. Gotcha games minus 50. Minus 50. Nah, no, man, dude. Nah, no, man, it's worth it. It's worth... No, no, uh-uh. Nope. 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 Waifus, the wa the, dude, I don't even drink. I don't even go drinking. Okay, let me have my waifus. Blah blah. Thank you so much for the prime. Blah blah. Thank you for thirty three months. But I don't even drink. I don't go out and party. I don't drink. Let me at least have my waifus. Give me that. 
I need that. That's that's my going out and getting a drink. Okay. So let me keep my wife as soon as I don't do drugs. I don't buy cocaine or anything like that. I just buy wife as possible. Imagine if I told no. you you could invest and earn a return of twenty seven percent. Octavia, thanks for the sub, dude. Thank you. Credit card companies charge you this crazy interest rate right, year after year. So stop allowing them to drain your I've never been in credit card debt. Never. Well, uh, that's not 100% true. I actually I actually went over on my credit card, but it was like the one time I moved uh when I when I moved houses and like I I wanted to just make sure that we had extra cash in case like something happened. So, uh I actually I actually used my credit card just so we have extra cash for that one month, but I paid it off immediately the next month. So I like I like really haven't been in credit card debt ever in my whole life. Finances and start using credit cards to your advantage. Oh yeah, man, I use credit cards to my advantage. Do you get the points? The points, the free travel, dude. Pay off your balance in full each and every month. I do that. Your credit score. Mm -hmm. Points that can be I got big credit score. Most Lots of points. Most would stop there and not even talk about the other lever. But this one, oh, this is my favorite. I've not always been the best at saving. I didn't go silly when I was younger, but I did have a pretty awesome life. I traveled the world. I learned to fly airplanes, raced cars, and provided a great life for my family. This guy is just flexing. This, this guy's just flexing on it. Like, what the fuck, man? Family. I can do this because I have a talent for effectively leveraging the income lever. Don't do I it. I highly recommend that Stop. you also spend Stop. more time Turn off that. this lever. Unlike counting the pennies, the potential to earn money is unlimited. Ah! Question two. Do you split your income strategically? Did you know that a surprising 49% of people earning more than $100,000 a year have no money left at the end of each month? The truth is, building wealth has a huge component that most people are completely unaware of. Honestly, I'm kind of like that. Living, like, paycheck to paycheck, but not because... Because I'm investing, like, almost all of it. So it's like... I guess it doesn't count. Never mind. And that's the income split strategy. But like, I put a lot of my, I'll put a lot of this stuff back into like the, like, like, uh, the, the, the company and stuff like that. Like we have like, you know, like company savings and stuff like that. Like in case something happens, it's like, I, yeah. Split your main income source. For most people, this will be the money you earn from your job. Now, ideally you want to be spending 50% on your basic needs. These are the things that are essential for your survival. Wait, why, do, wait, why are people going to be mad at this video, Julio? Why are people going to be mad? Survival. And no, I don't mean your Netflix subscription. These expenses include housing, utilities, food, transportation, and healthcare. Obviously, these do depend on your personal circumstances. However, it's important to be very honest with this, as the only person you'll be cheating is yourself. Next, you want to be spending 30% on your wants. This includes things like eating out, getting the latest video games. The waifus. The waifus are in that 30%, guys. And going to events with your friends. This is the category that most people don't limit, and this is a huge mistake. Even though I earn millions every single year, I still limit the percentage I spend on the stuff I want. I know that if I want more, then I need to make more and not use a higher percentage of my income on these things. Ah, the most important smart. part is the last 20%. This should be invested. I've heard others use the word save, but I have a real problem with that. Too many people save money to buy something like the latest iPhone or a vacation away with their friends. Uh -huh. This isn't what this 20% is for. Investing is very different from saving because the goal is to buy assets that go up in value or generate passive income, or ideally both. Mm -hmm. This can include investing in skill development, stocks and shares, timepieces, and real estate. Using this method, it's very- Investing yourself. A small salary into millions, but it can be incredibly slow. We're talking decades. That's why I think you should take things one step further and build an additional income stream by starting a side hustle. Start OnlyFans? Is he saying that I should start an OnlyFans? Is that my side hustle? Only slime, slimy fans? 
the side hustle is powerful because once you have the right income split, you can invest all the excess money. It's like pouring gasoline on a fire. It speeds everything. Dude, this guy is really good at making videos. You know what this guy did? This guy took like, you know those videos that are like, this video is so satisfying. He took that, he took all of that and put it into an informational video. Up. If you invest this extra side hustle income and get an average annual return of 10%, then each dollar you earn now will be worth $4.45 in 15 years. It's truly the key to supercharging your earnings. And then, and, and then inflation happens. You get uh, Bidenomics and... Uh... <laughs> so question three, do you have a side hustle? But Mark, why should I have to start a side hustle when I already work a full-time job? My boss should just pay me more. Well, inflation. Right time, there are only a few reasons why this is the case. The first could be your job isn't perceived as valuable. And the second is you might be getting taken advantage of. Most people think they're being taken advantage of by the system. You know, the ones that moan about it. Uh oh, here it comes, guys. Here's where everyone's going to be pissed off at this video. I see, I see it, I see it. Bosses and always seem to be the victims, but in reality, this is only the case for an extremely small amount of people. If you're really being paid unfairly. You remember what I talked about yesterday and how like blaming other things is like so good? Then look for another job. Now for everyone else, yeah. if you aren't generating enough value in your job, then you need to do it through a side hustle if you're really serious about growing your wealth. For most people with nine to five jobs, I'd highly recommend working as a freelancer. Oh, there we go. I mean, let's say you have an office job in marketing. On the weekends, you could share your knowledge with small businesses looking to grow their customer base in return for a fee. Now there are multiple ways to charge. The most common is for your time. You could charge anywhere from 30 to $200 an hour. It's true. I charged 300 when I was doing a side hustle. Although I personally don't like this idea as you're already selling your time at your normal job. Instead, it's a much better idea to sell results. For example, I might approach a business and offer to help them expand their reach on social media. In return, I'd request a percentage of the sales for every customer I bring in. This Ooh. way, both you and your client benefit and your potential income is unlimited. True. But what if I have no skills? Well, bloody go and learn one. <laughs> what if I have no skills? Go fucking get them. Go grind, bitch. <laughs> I, okay, I can see I can see how people will be pissed at this video now. You know, I can see it. You know, honestly, there's there's a lot of really uh you know, the thing is is we live in a world right now where there's so there's so much info out there. So much info that you can learn a new skill very easily for free. You don't need like you know, I hear a lot of people, oh, but I gotta pay money for courses. You don't have to, dude. You can learn you can learn online. In fact, a lot of the people I know, um, so for instance, like a couple of years back, this is a true story. A couple of years back, there was a uh, uh, there was this whole thing with like programming. There was like a whole revolution in programming. And uh, anyone know what I'm talking about? There was an era where there was this new programming thing that came out that was called Ruby on Rails, and that shit was like fucking huge. They didn't teach it in any school, but you could learn it yourself by like looking it up online. And the people who learned that shit made fuck tons of money, fuck tons of money, dude, because nobody knew how to do it. All of the people from schools. They didn't know how to. Uh, they didn't know how to how to actually do this because they never taught it in schools. So you had to learn it on your own. And all the people that learned it on their own started making fucking bank because all the startup companies had to use it, and there wasn't enough people. All start, startup companies started using it, and there wasn't enough people that actually knew how to use it. So they were making tons of money. Uh, Octomai, thank you so much for this. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, thank you. But. Uh, it was stupid. Uh, smart companies start using Perl. Yeah, but I mean, like, like you could say it's. You, you could argue whether or not it was like, you know, like better than Perl or, or whatnot. But uh, the fact of the matter was, the people who did learn it made shit tons of money, right? And so it's kind of like it, it's the same thing now. There's always things where like the demand is really really high, but the supply is low, and it's generally like cutting edge, cutting edge sort of technologies. Uh, so if you like figure out cutting edge technologies, it'll work right now. Uh, I'll tell you a couple things. Uh, you could do like AI. AI is cutting edge right now. You can make 
a lot of money learning how to actually use AI and being like very knowledgeable about it. Lots of companies are hiring people that have lots of information on AI and you can even contract out yourself. Just like this guy said, you can contract out your skills. And these are things that you can learn on your own. You don't need to pay any money for courses or anything. You can just learn it from YouTube. And that's the beauty of like the era that we live in. And just, dude, it's so crazy. The era we live in is insane because the, the font of human knowledge is like available to everybody for free. Right. So, so if you need a skill, there's plenty of them. Even like, let's say you like VTubers. Say you really love VTube, VTubers. Like, oh man, I love, I love watching VTubers. Like, I wish I could, you know, do something involving with VTubers to like make money. You can learn how to rig in live 2D. There's not enough people that know how to rig in live 2D right now. If you learn how to rig in live 2D, uh, in, in live 2D, I guarantee you, you could make, you can make way more money than minimum wage. I guarantee you can like, you can quit. If you're, if you're working like a kind of a uh, lower pay end job, you can quit. You could quit learning life to do because, because it's people pay so much for it right now. Cause there's not that th there's such high demand for the amount of people that can do it. Yeah. You can learn SEO. What, what Julio said, you can learn SEO, which is like, uh, like, um, understanding like, uh, the SEO is uh, search engine optimization. You could learn how to edit videos for YouTubers. You could learn how to, uh, how to, uh, like things about like social media algorithms. There's, there's so much like, like really the sky's the limit. There's so many things you could learn and make money in nowadays with side hustles. Like this guy is saying, um, but I mean, again, it's fully dependent on you getting off of your ass and actually like doing it. You know what I mean? So, uh, but, but it is out there. You don't need any money to start. All you gotta do is just watch a couple of YouTube videos, like learn like how to do it. And, and the most important thing is to actually just start doing it. It's like, if you want to learn like rigging, for example, you watch a couple of videos on rigging, you just it's like dive in there and actually just start doing it. Just be like, yo, I'm, I, you know, I like this picture of this anime girl. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna rig it, you know? And, uh, you know, eventually, you know, and I know a lot of people, by the way, and, and this is actually the case for us where uh, I've had people that like, I'm really interested in learning how to rig. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll pay you to do it. I'll pay you. I'll pay you if you, uh, if you rig this for me and, you know, I'll, I'll pay you like this kind of smaller amount, but like, you know, cause you're using it for training. I, I'll pay you like the smaller amount. And then like, you know, when you get better then like, I'll, I'll pay you to do more. Right. It, it, it's, it's the same thing. Like all, like for example, like Ollie, you guys know Ollie, like the three D modeler person for us, uh, learned how to do three D modeling because of taking my commissions. Ollie, Ollie didn't really know how to do it that well, the the three D mo modeling, and then Ollie got better, like each model, slowly better, each each one got better, 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 and now Ollie has commissions out the ass. Like you, you, there's a lot of skills you can learn. Just imagine if you could create an additional one thousand dollars per month. What the if fuck, Fartbag? Did you say make? Hold up. Did you say make mud servers to make money? <laughs> yeah, but like to make a mud, you would you would need to like design it, and make like a game. Return of seven percent per year over a span of twenty eight years, you would accumulate an impressive one million. $38,688. This substantial amount is generated solely from the extra money you've created in your life. So question four, is your money working for you? Now, I can already see the comments. This is crazy. What savings account will give me 7% per year? This old man, he's lost his marbles. Look, I completely agree with you. That's why this whole video comes down to this last point. Uh -oh. You need to start investing. The average annual return of the S&P 500 over the last 10 years has been 13 0.6%. Holy Although shit. This is slightly higher than the average over time. No one has ever lost any money if they bought and held an S&P 500 index fund for more than 20. Yeah, the, the, the problem with stocks is a lot of people get scared where like, you know, the economy starts to take the piss and then they lose a little bit of money and then they sell everything. That's when shit gets really fucked. You try to like game the market. People try to time the market that don't know anything about it. Like they get a little skittish because like, oh, shit's like going down, the economy's going down and they sell all their shit and then they get fucked basically. So it's like, it's like if you lose money, like you could, you don't actually lose the money until you sell. Years. 
The key is to open the correct type of account. You'll often hear people throwing around the terms Roth IRA in the US. President says stocks are also made of bullshit. Game some stocks, stocks prove that. Um, stocks are just supply and demand, Resin. So if a bunch of people conspire to raise the demand of some, I mean, raise the demand of something and lower the supply, then the price will go up. And the reason they did that is because they did it to fuck over the, the, the speculative people. So there were, uh, what actually happened there, if you don't know what happened with the GameStop stop thing, what happened is a bunch of people were betting, essentially betting, that's the best way to explain it. They were betting on the stock going down so they would make money. And a bunch of people were like, yeah, fuck these guys, and just said, we're going to make it go up, so we're not going to sell anything. We're going to buy more. We're going to buy more of it and then sell and then hold on to it. And then they fucked all the shorters over because the people who are betting on it just lost money because it went up instead of down. It, it, that's not actually like what happened. There's, uh, I just don't want to explain it. It's kind of a long explanation, but uh, that's essentially what happened. Saying stocks and shares ISA in the UK. If you don't have one of these accounts, then you're really missing out as they allow you to avoid paying. Tax. Yeah, what Optimize said, they were basically betting with stocks they didn't actually own. So everybody was like, fuck those guys. And then, yeah. Taxes on your investments, but they do have limits because they're so powerful. But where can I set up these accounts? Well, there are multiple different investment apps. A great thing about most of uh -oh. them is they actually... You guys think he has an ad? He has an ad for an investing app? What do you guys think? Give you the ability to buy fractional Here it comes. Shares. So rather than having to pay $190 for a share of Apple, you can invest as little as $1. One of my favorite That's cool. investing platforms is Trading212. Uh-oh, how much commission do you get from them? Planning to talk about their app anyway, I reached out to see if they'd be interested in sponsoring this portion of the video. They agreed and are also offering a free stock worth up to a hundred. How much do you make? How much do you make? Code Tilbury when they create an account to buy the S and P 500 index fund that I just mentioned. Search for. He's got the side hustle. He tells you to get the side hustle, and the side hustle is in the video. Oh my god. Vanguard. He's side hustling us. ACC. No, a lot of the a lot of the stuff he's saying is actually like really good advice. This stands for accumulation. I'm not a financial advisor, but it's pretty much that simple. You can even set a monthly amount to invest automatically. Of course, investments. Can you know, actually, I'm gonna do this next month. I'm gonna do this next month. Go up as well as down. Because I've been actually like investing like full on on Angel Sword. Uh, I think I'm gonna invest. Uh, strategy is maybe invest some in other things. Years. If I'm going to diversify my bonds, you know. An even more diversified portfolio, then you can also have a look at pies. And I'm not talking mama's good old apple pie. Mind you, that is a pretty good pie. This lets you see how other investors have allocated their money into different stocks. You can track the performance. Wu-Tang forever. That's right. <laughs> I'm so glad someone got that. The pie over time. And you can even copy and paste someone else's pie and invest in the same split with just one click of the button. If you wanted to invest $100 into that pie, then it would be split amongst the various allocations that the pie creator has chosen. Even after listening to this, if you feel unsure about investing, then you can always just keep your money in trading 212 and earn interest. Oh yeah? Oh yeah, I can keep it in your app? Rate. As of recording this video, they're offering 5.1% on US dollars, 5% on the Great British Pound, and 4.2% on the Euro, along with other currencies. So I wouldn't bet on the Euro. Seems like a bad idea. So if you live in the UK or Europe, it's worth trying out Trading212 because signing up is completely free and there's no commissions. Of course, don't forget to use the code Tilbury and you'll receive a free share worth up to a hundred pounds. Or hundred hundred in the description to sign up and see exactly how to access the free share. If you got to this point in the video, let me know in the comments how many questions you said. Don't yes forget to like and subscribe exactly and hit the notification bell. Individual stocks. Then you can check out this video next. But don't. Dang, he's yeah. good. Make sure to subscribe if you want This guy's good. Away. Okay, I'll see you over there. This guy is good. Become... He's good. He's got us down to a science, guys. Anyway, check. Uh, you want to check this guy out, Mark Tilbury? Uh, honestly, pretty good advice on there. Like, like I mean, a lot. A lot of it is like, of oh. course, like pretty basic. A lot of like pretty basic knowledge, but like a lot of people don't know it. You know. And like I, I want to see you guys fucking pop off and make tons of money. 
Like, I, I really do. I want to see you guys, like, you know, gain skills and pop off in life. Like, that, that makes me really happy. So, yeah, check that out. Check that out and, you know, start early. Start early and, uh, you know, buy some land and shit, you know? Then make everyone, like, mad jelly 